Okay, so this is going to be, I think, my first YouTube video. I probably should start it out with something a little more um, lighthearted. I feel like this one might be really chaotic and a roller coaster and I might be crying. You never know. Basically, if you know me, you know that I've been talking about that I'm doing a pageant and you probably heard me say it over and over again how nervous I am about it. Yeah, I'm extremely nervous. But I thought I should maybe start this video out saying why I'm doing it. When I was younger, um, I always wanted to do this. Like I always, I always saw the girls doing it in their dresses and everything. I was like, I am going to do that when I get older. Now that time has come and I'm extremely nervous. So I'm basically forcing myself to do it for younger Elena. I don't want to disappoint her, you know? So I'm doing it for her, and then I'm also doing it for the fact that I'm trying to take more risks. This is character development. Like, I'm forcing myself to do something that I'm scared to do, and I bet that it's gonna be great. So, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to be filming like small little parts of the whole process of this pageant so and putting them together and see what happens don't really know what i'm doing like i said this is my first video but then um i completely forgot what i was gonna say okay so today is saturday so two days uh i've already cried today i'm like terrified like i'm freaking out but it's all right I'm gonna go try my dress on now. Okay, here's the dress. Here's the shoes. I ain't tell them how much we got it for. Well, not not the alterations. We'll say that later. Okay. The dress was two dollars at a yard sale. Dollars at a yard sale. But then we had to spend like what eighty dollars. Eighty five dollars. Yeah, to get it altered to fit me. But that's still a lot cheaper than yeah. the dress. We're yeah. We're bargain hunters. We are. We are. Yeah. We are. I don't like to be. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to stop and turn. Oh, 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 okay. This is for the business part of it. Here's the shoes. And we're going to fix, hey, my mom's over there. <laughs> we're going to fix this for to make it just not as booby. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say, booby. So she was trying to fix it by like taking thread or whatever. And she just, she didn't know what she was doing. But it's okay, mom. I still love you. But she didn't know what she was doing. Yeah, so, I I <laughs> yeah. So, She's gonna call Pap Pap. Pap Pap to the rescue. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing for the business part. Yeah. Hey. Um, <laughs> so I've been working on my speech. I have to say a speech, a one minute speech. I have to have it memorized by Monday so I've just kind of been cleaning it up I kind of for the most part have it memorized like somewhat memorized I just need to do it word for word so it's easier I'm really scared that I'm just gonna get up there and like forget everything but I'll try not to think that way but I'm just really nervous Okay, I actually really don't know if I should be filming like vertically or horizontally. I've kind of been doing both. I just realized that. This is horizontal. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Here's what I have memorized so far. 
I'll like put this down so you know I'm not cheating. I'll close my eyes too. Okay. Have you ever decided not to do something because it made you anxious or was out of your comfort zone? I'm sure almost all of us has done that at least once in our life. I used to do it all the time. I've had social anxiety my whole life and for a long time I let it keep me from doing, from experiencing new things. Oh my gosh, I forgot. But that was before I made a promise to myself that I would not let my anxiety rule my life. So since then I've learned to do things that may be scary to me, like this pageant. I think of it as exercising. Does anybody actually like exercising? For the most part, the answer is no, but they do like the feeling of accomplishment afterwards. Same with doing something that may scare you. Yeah, okay. But deciding not to can be like skipping a couple days at the gym. The next time you go, you struggle more. I don't know the bottom part. That's pretty much the whole thing though. I mean, I, I struggled along a couple things, but like for the most part, I have it in my head, which is good. Do y'all wanna see my cat? Say hi to the world, or probably just my friends. Say hi. Say, can you look at the camera, please? Say hi. I promise I don't abuse my cat. Oh, she just lay back down. She just lay back down. She's like, girl, I'm done with this. Okay, okay, focus, Elena, focus. <sighs> Move your tail. Okay, let's try again, let's try again. Have you ever decided not to do something that made you anxious or was just out of your comfort zone? I'm sure almost all of us has done that at least once in our life. I used to do it all the time. I... <laughs> anyway, sorry, I just, I totally have girly burps. That was good. Let's start over. Okay, yeah. Have you ever decided... <laughs> you ever decided not to do something because it made you anxious or it's just out of your comfort zone? I'm sure almost all of us has done that at least once in our life. But for me, I used to do it all the time. I've had social anxiety my whole life and for a long time I let it keep me from experiencing new things. So that was before I made a promise to myself that I would not let my anxiety rule my life. So since then I've learned to do things that may be scary to me, like this pageant. I think of it as exercising. Does anybody actually like exercising? For the most part, the answer is no, but they do like the feeling of accomplishment afterward and doing something scary can be the same way. But if you decide not to do the things that scare you, I really don't know that part. I need to stop trying and just memorize it. Okay, I'll come back to you later. Okay, we're on our way. Well, actually we're here, I forgot to vlog when I was at home. But um, we're in the car at the 4-H fair. They're setting everything up, getting everything ready. I have pageant practice, which I'm nervous for that. So that just shows how scared I am if I'm nervous for the practice. <laughs> yeah, it's around 10 o'clock. Tomorrow's the day. And I'm actually not doing as bad as I thought I would be doing. I kind of was more nervous this morning, but then I went to practice. Um, as you saw when I was in the car, I went to practice and I, it actually made me feel a lot better. So I'm still terrified, but like, don't get it twisted. I'm still terrified, but I feel a lot better. So we'll see. I will see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good night.
number 11, Elena Andrecht. Elena is the 16-year-old daughter of Pete and Tara Andrecht. She is a member of the German Gems 4-H Club. Elena will be a junior this year and is homeschooled. A family tradition Elena enjoys each year is around Christmas. Her family has a night they call Little Women Night. They watch the 1990, 1994 version of Little Women, paint their nails, and enjoy their favorite snacks. Her favorite memory of the fair was when her friends came to see her in the Young Miss pageant, and after the pageant, they went to watch the rodeo. Elena's future plans include possibly working with animals, early childhood education, or missionary work. Elena, your word is attitude. I think that everybody should strive to have a great attitude doing everything that they do. Thank you. Contestant number 11, Elena Andrews. So, something happened. So, it's September, almost October, right now, as I'm filming this. All the other footage that you saw was filmed in July and was edited in August. Um, one of the clips that was at pretty much the very end of the video, this one that was supposed to be what you're seeing right now, got deleted because I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm doing and there was no way to get it back. I tried and tried all day yesterday. There was crying. There was. But here I am to kind of say what I said in that video from my memory. So I said exactly a week ago today I was freaking out and I was at um, the church doing the pageant stuff Basically, I said that I had a very good time, that I, I really did, and that um, I met a lot of fun people. I shouted out to Sarah. Hey girl. She's a really great person. My friend Catherine won first runner-up, which was insane. So exciting. Um, yeah, I started tearing up on stage. I was like, oh wait, I'll hold yourself together. You're in front of a bunch of people. It actually, it actually wasn't that many people, but like still, you know, hold yourself together. Um, so that was so, so, so exciting. Um, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of everyone, all of the girls. It was a great experience. Everybody did an amazing job. I'm just so proud of everybody. So you saw me practicing my speech and in my speech I said, get out there, do something that scares you, the outcome will be amazing. The outcome was amazing. So I'm so happy I did it. A lot of the parts were very scary. It was very scary. I'm not gonna say it wasn't, it was, and but that's the whole point. It was terrifying. I did it, conquered it, I had an amazing time. I am gonna do it again. Am I gonna freak myself out again? Probably, <laughs> probably. Um, but I can go back and look at this video and remember how amazing it was and how I should not back out and how I should do it again. Um, yeah, and if I try to back out, uh, Sarah hit me up and forced me. <laughs> but I don't think I will. I do really want to do it again. I think it will be, it'll be really fun. So I'm so glad I did it. And, um, Thanks for watching this video. It was, I feel like people are gonna think I'm being dramatic in this. Um, it is a little bit dramatic, um, but it seriously is a huge deal for me in my life. And you know, anybody else who is watching this who struggles with anxiety and things like that, I hope that this video is just encouraging for you and to not let your anxiety, you know, roll your life. So get out there, do something that scares you. The outcome will be amazing. <laughs>